God's nature never changes. He is and he will always be. He is who he is. That's what his name Jehovah even means. It means I am. Yahweh means he is. He's God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. He is. Judge, Creator, Yahweh, Lord, Jehovah, El Elyon, the Most High God, Adonai, Lord, Master, El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, El Alam, the Everlasting God, the God of Eternity, the God of the Universe, the God of Ancient Days. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. He is the Shiloh, the Peacemaker, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord my banner, the Lord my miracle. He is Kana, jealous. He is Jehovah M. Kadash, the Lord who sanctifies you, the Lord who makes holy. He is, he is a star. A scepter out of Israel. The cursed of God. The captain of the host of the Lord. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of powers. The rock of my salvation. My salvation. He is the light of the morning when the sun rises, a morning without clouds. He is the daysman, the interpreter, my rock and my redeemer. He is crowned, the crown of pure gold, the most blessed forever. 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 He is the forsaken, the worm, and no man. He is Jehovah Ra. He is my restorer, the king of glory. He who sitteth king forever he is a stranger and an alien. My strong rock, my rock and my fortress. Fairer than the children of men, the rock that is higher than I. The rock of my strength, the rock of habitation. He is as rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. The rock of my heart, the, the shield. shield, the rock of my refuge. A king and priest after the order of Melchizedek. A brother born for adversity, the friend that loveth at all times. A stone, stone of grace. grace. A friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He is his ointment poured forth. My well-beloved. A bundle of myrrh. A cluster of henna blooms. The rose of Sharon. He is the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley. The chiefest among ten thousand. His countenance is as Lebanon. Yea, he, he is, is altogether lovely. lovely. He is my beloved and my friend. He, he is holy, holy, holy. He's a sanctuary. The great light. A son given. The mighty God. The father of eternity. He is a child born. The, the prince, prince of peace. peace. An ensign of the people. The nail fastened in a sure place. A strength to the poor. Strength. The strength to the needy in distress. A shadow from the heat. A refuge from the storm. He is the rock of ages. A crown of glory and beauty. He is a stone. A triad stone. A covert from the tempest. From the tempest. He is as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. As a hiding place from the wind. He is the king in his beauty. My leader, the everlasting. The everlasting God. He is mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. He is a light of the Gentiles, the covenant of the people, the polished shaft, glorious. He is the Holy One of Israel. He is a man of sorrows, despised, is rejected. He is stricken, stricken. smitten. He is wounded, he is bruised. He is oppressed. He is my portion, my maker, my husband. He's the God of the whole earth, the witness to his people, a leader, a commander, the redeemer. He is mighty. He is my physician. Jehovah Sid Canoe, the Lord our righteousness. David, their king, their king. My resting place. My feeder. The plant of renown. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. He is the prince of princes. The Messiah. The prince, the strength of the children of Israel, the, the hope, hope of, of thy people. people, the ruler. He is king over all the earth. He is a refiner's fire, polar's soap, my refiner, my purifier, purifier, the son of righteousness. He is Jesus, Yeshua, salvation, Emmanuel, God with us. He is born as the king of the Jews. He is a governor, the Nazarene, Nazarene. the bridegroom. He is meek, lowly. He is the one of whom the Father says, My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. The Son of the living God, Jesus the Christ, the, the Rock, Rock, the Builder, the Prophet of Nazareth. He is betrayed, betrayed mocked, crucified, the 
Holy One of God. My brother. The carpenter and his life is a ransom. He is the Son of the Blessed. The Son of the Highest. God my Savior. The Horn of Salvation. The Day Spring from on, on high. high. A Savior which is Christ the Lord. The salvation of God. He is the glory of thy people Israel. Lord of the Sabbath. My healer. The Christ of God. My servant. The chosen of God. He is risen. He is risen. A prophet mighty in deed and word. He is the word. The word that was with God. The word that was God. The light of men. The true light. The word that was made flesh. He is the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. The Lamb of God. My teacher. teacher. The gift of God. Gift of God. He is Messiah. The bread of God. The bread of life. He is my meat. My drink. The light of the world. The door of the sheep. The, the good, good shepherd, shepherd that, that laid down, down his life. life. The scent of the Father. He is the resurrection. The king of the daughter of Zion. The corn of wheat. He is the light. The light. My Lord, Master. My example. He is the way, the truth, the life, the vine, scourged, crowned with a crown of thorns, crucified as the king of the Jews. He is exalted, glorified, the holy one and the just, the prince of life, the anointed, the prince and a savior. He is Lord Jesus. He is Lord of all, the, the judge, Jesus of Nazareth, the mercy seat, Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the firstborn among many brethren. Over all, God blessed forever. Lord over all, the deliverer. deliverer. Lord both of the dead and living. The minister of the circumcision. He is my wisdom. My righteousness. My sanctification. My redemption. He is the foundation. My Passover. The spiritual rock. The head of every man. The first fruits of them that slept. He is the last Adam. The quickening spirit. The image of God. His unspeakable gift. My peace. He is the offering. He is the sacrifice. The head over all things to the church. He is he that filleth all in all. He is a servant who humbled himself unto death, even death on a cross. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, creator of all things, the, the firstborn, firstborn from, from the, the dead. dead, the head of the body, the church, the head of all principalities and powers. He is my all in all. He, he is, is our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is Lord of peace. He is our Lord of hope. He is God manifest in the flesh. He is the justified, the mediator, the righteous judge, the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is obedient and his throne is forever and ever. And ever. He is the upholder of all things. The express image of his person. The brightness of his glory. He is Jesus Christ. Same yesterday, today, and forever. The shepherd of the sheep. The great shepherd that was brought again from the dead. He is a minister of the sanctuary. And of the true tabernacle. And his flesh is the veil which, which was wrapped in two. He is the altar. The offerer. The, the forerunner. For us. Entered even Jesus. He is the priest. The priest. The high priest. The great high priest. The intercessor. The surety. The covenanter. He is the captain of salvation. The author and finisher of faith. The king of righteousness. The king of peace. He is crowned with glory and honor. He is the tempted, the merciful, the faithful. He is holy, harmless, undefiled. He is the shepherd. He is the perfect. He is my helper, the lamb without blemish. And without spot, the living stone. He's a cheap cornerstone. He is a precious stone. He is guileless. He is vile. He is the chief shepherd that shall again appear. Today's star, my, my Savior. He is the word of life. He is the life. He is that eternal life which was with the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the righteous, the Savior of the world, the true God, the true God, the advocate. He is the advocate. The advocate. He is Jesus Christ. He is the first begotten of the dead. He is the Prince of the Kings of the earth. He is. He is the Almighty, which is, which was, which is to come. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. He is he that liveth. He is the tree of life. He is the hidden manna. He is the faithful and the true witness. He is the Amen. He is the beginning of the creation of God. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the lamb that was slain.
on people. We invite your power in this place. And we thank the living God for what he's going to do in the name of Jesus. Blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dumb will speak. The lame will walk, those with skin conditions will be healed, the dead will be raised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing of high desire of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up upon above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breed out cruelty. I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 91. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall I trust. 
His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I will not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with my eyes will I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because I've made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, nor any plague come near my dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all thy ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I will tread upon the lion and azar, the young lion and the dragon, shall I trample on the feet. And the Lord said, Because he had set his love upon me, he will deliver me. He will set me an eye, because I know his name. He said, I will call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. Psalms 118. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations come past me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They come past me about, yea, they come past me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They come past me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which has showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Isaiah 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. 
Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance, and given them unto thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, as thou very heavily laid the yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore hear now this, thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come unto thee in, the, in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thus shall not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou shalt as labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prostocinators, prostocinators, sorry, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. They shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thou shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander, every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Revelation 20. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on to the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. The judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. On such the second death had no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations 
which are the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of which as, is as the sand of the sea. And they went up unto the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that received them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and on him sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 22. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare twelve manner of fruit and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads and they shall be night there and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever and he said unto me these saints are faithful and true and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he said it unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life, and may enter into the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. 
and let him that heareth say come and let him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely for I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things said, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. God, thank you. We understand as we offer a word of prayer in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thanks. We say thank you, Jesus, for this day that you have made. We declare today we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us. If it was not for your keeping power, we would not have been here today. There are many kings, many princes, many prime ministers, many people of wealth and status who have never lived to see this day. We are thankful. We are very thankful. We are very thankful, Father God, for your keeping power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your keeping power. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that there is power in the blood. There is power in the blood of the Lamb of God. And we plead that blood right now all around this sanctuary. The blood of Jesus. Yeshua's blood. Let the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Fill this place with the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father. There's power in the blood. There's healing in the blood. There is deliverance in the blood. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the thanks. That there is power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we surrender today's service to you. We surrender, O oh God, even as we invite warrior angels to contend with those who contend with us to fight against those who fight against us hallelujah we surrender our service to you Lord we say today Father God it's not by might 
It's not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. You are welcome in this place. Every other spirit, bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus and get out in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the gifts of the Spirit, for the fruits of the Spirit to be evident among your people in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for peace, for love, for unity in Jesus' name. Let there be peace and love and unity in your body. Let there be peace, love, and unity. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Throughout the Middle East, throughout Jerusalem, throughout Israel, let there be peace, let there be love, let there be unity throughout the Near East, throughout the Far East, throughout the Middle East, throughout the world. Let there be peace. Let the Prince of Peace manifest all over this place. I pray in no other name but the powerful name of Jesus. Master, as I surrender today's service to you, Lord, I pray, God, that your Shekinah glory will fill this place. Father God, we recognize that in our own strength we can't do it. So we surrender to the King of glory. We surrender the Yahweh El Shaddai. We surrender the Yahweh El Jabor. We surrender the Yahweh Sabot. And we say, Lord, the battle is yours. The battle is not ours. And we say, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Fight our battles for us in the name of Jesus. And today, we declare victory. We declare victory. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. We declare today, hallelujah, that Yahweh Nisi will manifest. The God of our banner, the God of our victory shall be in every home receiving this word today. In the name of Jesus, get ready for victory. I said get ready for victory. Get ready for victory today in the name of Jesus. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to go into the word. We're going to go into the praise and worship. We're going to go into lift up the name of Jesus. We're going to do all of that shortly. But we encourage you today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. To surrender to Jesus. 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 As the Lord taught us to pray, to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a big hand. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you today, if it was not for Jesus. I would not have been here today. And I guess you can say the same. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go straight into praise and worship. We're going to lift up that name that's above every other name. And I want you to sing like if there are a thousand people in here. In Jesus' name, may have your seats. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a merciful God. He's a merciful God. He is a merciful God. He's a merciful God. He's faithful and true. He is faithful and true. There is no God like him. 
There is no God like him. There is no God like our God. There is no God like our God. There is no God like him. There is no God like him. There is no God in the heavens. No God on the earth. No God under the earth. There is no God like him. There is no God like him. There is none like him. There is none like him. There is none like him. None full of mercy. None full of grace. None like our God. None like our God. None like the King of Kings. None like the Lord of Lords. There is none like him. 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 King of Kings. Lord of Lords. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. Rabba Shabba Yabba. Rabba Yaka Tebo Yabba 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 Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, 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 rule and reign, rule and reign, rule and reign, Lord Jesus, rule and reign, rule and reign, rule and reign, Lord Jesus, rule and reign, hallelujah. Today I declare. Even as we go into our praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you Jesus. That those who are held captive. Shall be set free. I declare it. I decree it. That those who are held captive. Shall be set free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare today. That a broken hearted. Shall be healed today. In the name of Jesus, 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 I declare today that the blind will recover their sight today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the blind shall recover their sight today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As we give him all the praise, all the glory, all the thanks. What a God. What a God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a God. What a God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I want to encourage you. That this is the day of the Lord's favor. Amen. And you got to get ready to receive favor from God today. In the name of Jesus. Favor. 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 Favor like never before. Get ready to receive favor. 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 So how? How, Lord? How? Nothing to do with you. When you come in here, just surrender to Jesus. And favor shall be your portion in Jesus' name. You'll come back and testify. Of God's goodness and mercy in Jesus' name. I want you to put your hands together as we welcome Sister Angela as she comes to lift her up in praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name.
is worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be lifted up. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is defeated. Hallelujah. He's under your feet. Stop him. I said, Stop him. Hallelujah. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. He's under your feet. Hallelujah. Have your seats. Now I worship is critical. We are doing a worshiping God just now. And we have got to lift our worship. Say, Pastor, lift it to where? Well, you know, I remember when we started church, you hear me talk about this. We were in church, we were a prayer group. We didn't have no instruments. And we just sang. And while we were singing, nothing went wrong with the roof. But you could feel raindrops. Raindrops falling on people. Such was the presence and the power of God. Not only rain drops, sometimes you feel fire on your body. Just was just coming from worshiping him. Worshiping him. You now the Bible says in Exodus 23, 25 to 26. God said, if you worship me, if you worship me, I'm gonna bless your food. I'm gonna bless your water. So there'll be none sick among you. He said the barn won't be able to bring forth children. I said, but long life will I satisfy you. I show you my salvation. God wants to bless us. But we got to go deeper in our worship. Amen? You got to go deeper in your worship. When you come in here, you got to block. Block out all them problems. I open up your heart to Jesus. And as you worship him, God will come true for you in the name of Jesus. Those that were closed will have the bars open. You ever say, those that were closed will have the bars open. When you need help, divine helpers will suddenly come on the scene because of your worship. I remember I was in another church where we used to do a lot of worship. And when we worship God many times, my eyes are closed. And I could feel, first I could see, I could see the Atlantic Ocean come in. I could see the waves. This is the big one. I could see the waves and I could feel the waves. I could feel the waves. I could feel the water coming on my skin. You know, like you walk on the sea wall, high tide, and the, and, the, and the wave, you feel the water sprinkling on you. I could literally feel that water sprinkling on me. I'd open my eyes sometimes and say, I wonder, is it true? Is the Atlantic boys forth and come into the place? No. It was God's Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? It was God's Atlantic. God's supernatural presence. God's supernatural power. That's what God wants to take his church to. You gotta go deeper. You say you gotta go deeper. Hallelujah. God wants you to go to another level in the name of Jesus. Rabba Shakata ba yaba yebo. Rabba yeke tebo yaba yebo yaba ye. Rakata ba yaba yebo yaba ye. God don't want you to go deeper just for deep sake. He wants you to go deeper because you got a blessing in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me just read this piece of scripture from Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Luke 5. Verse 1 to 
from verse 1 to 11. This is not what I'm sharing about today. I'm not doing much sharing. I hope not today. I hope not. Luke 5, 1 to 11. Hear what it says. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked them to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep. What did he tell Simon? Launch out into the deep. What did he tell Simon? Launch out into the deep. Say it with me. What did he tell Simon is? Launch out. Launch out. Launch out. Launch out. Launch out. Yeah. Launch out into the deep. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And let down your nets for a catch. You know, somebody told me, and the person was unwilling to share their testimony. Because sometimes you got to be careful, especially when you share money testimony in church. When you share money testimony in church, you got to be careful. Because you got some coaches that are waiting at the door when you're going out. I don't have a bus fare, you could help me. I have a mortgage, could you assist me? So some people don't want to share their testimony. I gave a lady a word. I said, you know, God going to send somebody to buy out everything we you got. That lady told me, she said, you know, Pastor, that word was so accurate. Not only did they come to buy out everything I got, but when they made the order, I had to tell them, is it possible for you to half it? Is it possible for you to half it because the order too big? You all understand what God wants to take you to in the name of Jesus. But you got to change your worship. Here we say, you got to change your worship. God is doing a shaking. Somebody say shake. God is doing a shaking. Amen. He is doing a shaking. I don't know, but I don't know. I grew up where if somebody shake the guinea tree, guinea was fall down. That minister after Jamu tree too. When I shake the tree, thing does fall down. And God is shaking the earth right now in the name of Jesus. And because God is shaking, some people who are in position will get the blessing. And those who are out of position will miss the blessing. Say, Pastor, it's true. It's true, I'm telling y'all. But as I said earlier, your worship is important. Amen? Your worship is important. Your worship is what can take you to another level. Your worship has the capacity to open doors that are shut. Your worship, hallelujah, Rabba shaka taba yaba yibu. Robo shaka taka table. Your worship, literally, 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 is able to shake foundations. Rabba kata shaba yaba Hallelujah. So Peter, so I ain't preaching today. I don't think so. I hope not. Peter, Jesus tell Peter, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. I don't know. There are some people who are talking for the Bible book of Agehi. I will share a little bit on that. Agehi. And uh, there are some people working hard. And they can't they understand where the money is going. So I get any money, but 
past has got to be the runaway inflation. But hear what God is saying to you. God is saying, if you partner with me, and you are obedient to me, there's a blessing coming for you in the name of Jesus. Do you believe that? Yeah. So if you partner with me, and you walk in obedience, there's a blessing coming for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So Peter said, we turn all night. And there are some people be walking hard, back-breaking walk, and you can't see your way. You, by the time you get paid, the first week, all the money done. So some people say, Pastor, I could only come to church once a month. You know, partner with God. Walk in obedience to God. And you will not be out in the name of Jesus. You ever tell you? Who better to partner with than the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. Who better to partner with than the one who owns the heavens and the earth? Let them be a partner. You can't go wrong. And, and better still, he says, the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Can't you get it? So I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. I will be your Yahweh. Sabot. Yahweh. El Jabor. Yahweh. Else shall I die. I'm going to be a mighty God fighting for you. All you got to do is walk in obedience. Church, can't you get it? And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. And their net was breaking. Like the lady. They had to break the lady. The lady said, I got the largest freezer in tongue. I can't take off more. All oh, the too big. Somebody a blessing coming for you. Your are going to be too big in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know what? In life, you got to copy what is good. You have to copy what is good. You don't want to copy from somebody who can't spell his spelling. You go, you copy from them. You go, look stupid. You got a copy from somebody who could spell properly. So I said, unless somebody could spell back a copy from them. The Jews are tight givers. The Jews have been blessed. The Jews have been make up a small percentage of the U.S. Um, number of persons in the country. But in terms of magnitude of wealth, they got the most. How could that be? Because they dare to do what God tells them to do. They dare to partner with God. When you partner with God, you will not go wrong. And the truth is, God won't push many of you to get your own business in the name of Jesus. You ever say, God won't push many of you to get your own business. Say, but pastor, how can I get my own business? You know what? Today, today, today is what date? Today is what date? 17th. But I should not really forget that day because on the 17th day of July, I lost my dad. 17th. But I mentioned him to tell you this. He worked with somebody. He worked with a company. But despite working with somebody, he always had many other businesses. And when he could not cope, he ended up getting partners. I want to tell you today, you have to launch out in the deep. Because God is doing a shaking. We're going to talk about the shaking. He is doing a shaking. He is doing a shaking in the earth. And you know what? He wanted to take the wealth of the wicked and give us. 
But if we out of position, we can miss out big time. So you got to be in position to be able to get the wealth. You can't have feeling in the covers and all the catches come in the slips. You don't get nobody out. So Peter was told to go deeper. And Peter obeyed eventually. And despite that, Peter was tired. And you know what? The, a lot of people today, they're tired of the licks you're getting around you. So lashes all over. Pass, you don't know what are going through. But you know what? Despite Peter toiling all night, he still decided to press. Somebody say press. You got to press. You got to push. You got to push. It ain't going to drop in your lap. You got to push. If you don't push, you're going to run into problems. You know, I remember on Thursday, I came down to pray and I said to myself, Lord, you better tell these people to go home. I'm so tired. I was up since the wee hours in the morning. And I'm really, really tired. And I'm praying for people. And suddenly the Holy Spirit is showing me things so clearly. I said, what the Holy Spirit? Simply because I decided to press. Even one lady came in. But I don't know if she wanted to flatter me. She said, Pastor, look at that light on your face. So I said, lady, you don't know. It's whole night. I'm tired. Amen. But when you press. When you press, when you press, when God see your effort, he can back you up in the name of Jesus because the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. He's doing a shaking. Tell her, sir, I got to try not to. I promised myself I wouldn't really preach today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says, let me read a little bit. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. He said, Could you imagine? This God be, this, you got to be God. You got to be God. What I see here, I've never seen all my life. You got to be God. And God wants you to know he wants to be your God today. He wants to astonish us today. Astonish us with blessings. If we'll only believe. If we'll only believe. For you and all the world with him were astonished at the catch of fish. But they are taken. And so also were James and John and the sons of Zebedee. Who were partners with Simon. He had a partner. Thank God he had a partner. And Jesus said to Simon. Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. So when they had bought their boat to land. They forsook all and follow him. But there's a, there's a hard one. You are just coming to a huge commercial blessing. And now you are willing to give up all of that. You're giving up all of that for Jesus. All of that for Jesus. Would you be willing to give up everything for Jesus? So I'm going to bless you. I really want to bless you. But before we do some shaking, God, we got to shake in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the book of Agehai. Agehai chapter 2. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Agehai chapter 2. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Agehai chapter 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I think what well, I should have been sharing with you, but I think we can just do a lot of do it a lot different today. Is God initially had written what was in the Bible? God is about to shake the heavens and the earth, but I want to change it and tell you God is shaking. God is shaking present tense. God is shaking the heavens and the earth. 
You know why he's shaking the heavens and the earth? He wants to make us his signet ring. So, Pastor, with this signet ring, we can talk about that briefly just now. He wants to make us his signet ring. So, if you go to Agehai chapter 2, and we're going to read uh, I'm going to read from verse 20. And the Bible says, And again the word of the Lord came to Haggai on the 24th month, so on the 24th day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, Here what God's word is. I will shake heaven and earth. I will overthrow the thrones of kingdoms. I will destroy the strength of the Gentile kingdoms. I will overthrow the chariots and those who ride in them. The horse and the riders shall come down. Every one by the sword of his brother. I hear what the prophet is saying for them. See, in that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will take you, Jerubabel, my servant, the son of of Shalaltiel, says the Lord, I will make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. What does God say? God is saying, that was the word then, I believe that word is relevant now. One of the means in which the world is shaking, God uses different things. I believe there is what I call runaway inflation. Inflation is the persistent rise in the general level of prices. And there is a, a general increase. And it keeps like running away in the name of Jesus. Run away. And do you know runaway prices can cause kings to tumble? Yes. Because things get tough and people get rough. You know what I'm saying? So there is a shaking going on. Shaking. And God is not saying, I want to shake in the earth. He said, I shake in the heavens and the earth. And it is very important. Because you know what? A lot of people, listen to this good. A lot of people, the blessings got stuck. The blessings got stuck in the second heaven. When it was the past, the devil who controlled that region said it can't pass. The devil said it can't pass, but God said it got to pass. So God is shaking the heavens. All them things when they got locked down for you. We have to get ever since. I may encourage you today that delay is not denial. God will come true. He is faithful. As the angel shouted in Revelation 10, 6, he said, no more delays. Somebody shout it out for me. No more delays. He was saying, no more delay. Think all up long. Say, you no know, long I'm waiting for this project. No long I'm waiting for this breakthrough. You know, long I waited for this help. It's going to come now because God is shaking the heavens and he's shaking the earth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to do some praise and worship. I remember, you can't fool me with the praise and worship. I told you earlier, how we praise and worship and we literally see I see the Atlantic Ocean coming in. I, I feel I feel his presence all over me. So we're going to go into a season, a time right now of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, watch this. The person who is leading in praise and worship, sometimes you got to pray in tongues. You ever say sometimes you gotta praise, praise and worship in tongues. Rabba kata shebo yaka tebo, robo shaba yebo. Always remember, God is a spirit, and He's looking for a people who will worship Him 
in spirit and in truth. And the word I give you there is a powerful word. Here why it's powerful. There's a key. You can't do without the other. You got to get the spirit and you got to get the truth. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you, you got to get the word and you got to move in the spirit. When you have both lit together, it's like the lamp, the wick and the oil. The wick and the oil goes together. Because if you light one and you like the other and you get the other one, you got problems. But when you have the right balance of wick and oil, you get a perfect light. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So I want you to literally praise and worship the Lord today. And make sure his presence come in here. As I said earlier, you can't fool me. I've been through it. I've been through it when we had no instruments. And I'm feeling the water drops. And I'm feeling the fire. So I know. And I gotta get there in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to say with me. Say, Lord Jesus. I'm crying out. For a greater anointing in your house in the name of Jesus. Say, so Lord, let your presence, let your Shekinah glory fill this house, Lord, with power, with power. You know, let me tell you. You see, in the early 20th century, when they had Azusa Street, the neighbors used to go and complain. They go and call the fire tender. They say they got a fire going on in the building. Look, I see a fire. And when the fire tender come, there are no fire. It was the fire of the Holy Ghost. You know what I tell you? It was the fire of the Holy Ghost. We got to release the Holy Ghost fire in this place in the name of Jesus. Baba Shaba Yabai Rabba Kata Shaba Yakatebo Yabai Robo Shaba Yabo Yaketaba Yaba Yabo Yabai Robo Shaba Yabo Rabba Yabo Yabo Shaba Yabo Yabo You want to praise the watchman, Sister Angela? Come open your mouth and start to praise God. Those of you who speak in other tongues. Speaking out of tongue, speaking out of tongue, speaking out of tongue. Those of you who speak, praise God in English, praise Him in English, praise Him in English, praise Him in English. I want to open your mouth and praise the Lord. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. I said, open your mouth and praise the Lord. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. Rabba Shaba Yabai. Robo Shaka Taka Tokoti. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless, bless all those persons who are online, like Sister Yannette. Uh, Alexandrina Gray all the way in Canada God bless you may his healing anointing flood you and flood your home in the name of Jesus Sister Nicola, Nicola Paddy God bless you hallelujah praise God Sister Alice God bless you Estelle God bless you hallelujah praise God Kevin Gordon I hope it's not Stacy hiding behind Kevin Gordon Stacy missing in action Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Invite a friend. Encourage them to come on in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come, Sister Angela. I want you to lift up your voices and sing today. God wants to make you into a signet ring. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the signet ring just now. Come quickly. Hallelujah. Rabbi Shabbat Yabbat. Rabbi Yaka Tebo Yaba Yabo Yaba Hallelujah Welcome Holy Spirit we are in your 
praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Rabba. Yaka Tebo Yaba Yebo. Rabba Kata Shebo Yaba Yebo. Rabba Taba Yaka Tebo. Robo Shaka Tebo Yaba Yebo. Rabba Kata Shaba Yaka Tebo. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can have a sit, sit down if you can. If you can find a seat. I want to pray, I want to pray, I want to pray. Shaka taba, yaba yaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake it up. Yaba yebo. Rabba yaka tebo. Yaba ye. God wants to minister to his people. Rabba kata shaba yeke tebo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Rabba kata shaba yeke tebo. I want to pray about a number of situations. Hallelujah. Rabba Shabba Yabai. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for the construction of that house or that building in the name of Jesus. Rabba Kata Shabba Yakatebo Yabayebo Yeketaba Yakatebo. Father, I pray. That our building will come forth in the name of Jesus. I pray God that the money is for the building. Lord, you want to provide because you are providing God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you for providing the monies, oh God. And I pray God that everything will be done expeditiously. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I pray for the release. Release of monies in your hands in the name of Jesus. Rabakata shakata katokoti. Rabaya katebo yabayebo yabay. Robo shakata yabayebo yabay. By act of faith, just get a bag or a purse or something. Just get something in your hand. Rabba shakata katokoti. Just something in your hand. Something in your hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba Katashaba. Get something. Get something in your hand. Hallelujah. God want to bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm looking for something. I want to see an empty basket here. I'm tempted. Hallelujah. Rabba Shaba Yaba. Come, give me a bag. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to declare the word of God with me. So, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. By Christ Jesus. 
Say, I shout for joy. I shout for joy. Say, Heavenly Father. Be uh, exalted. You delight in my prosperity. So I shout for joy. So I shout for joy. Heavenly Father, be exalted. Be exalted today. You delight in my prosperity. Rabba Shaba Yaba. Robo Shaka Taka Teketa. That business transaction was taking a long time. In no time now, things are going to happen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He's a God that supplies all of our needs. Not some, but all. Rabba Yakatebo Yabai. Robo Shaba Yabo. Hallelujah. We command. You know where is the east? Look to the east. Look to the east. Look to the east. Look to the east. The east, give up what belongs to me right now in the name of Jesus. All the monies you got for me, lose it now. I said, lose it now in the name of Jesus. And I thank the living God for releasing in my hands today monies. In Jesus' name. Look to the west. 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 Rabba Shaka Taba Yabai. Yeke Taba Yabai. Yebo Yabai. Hallelujah. Rabba Shebo Yabai. Yebo Yabai. West. Say west. Hear the word of the Lord. The ark is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. What you have for me. Release it now. For I am a son. Of the kingdom of the living God. Release my blessings now. All of it. In Jesus name. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now look to the south. 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 Rabba Shaba Yaba Ebo Yaba Hallelujah Hallelujah Declare with me I shall receive Rain An abundance of rain In season In season And I declare This is my season I said this is my season this is my seal of my blessing. Release it now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You turn to the north now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Not like you got a lot of things for us, boy. Hallelujah. Rabbi Shabba Yabba 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 while you are worshipping I saw in the spirit some people bread well buttered I don't know if it's you but if it was me I claim it I claim it I claim it I claim it you notice I have me saying all the time money's coming so let me hear yourself blessing because I sense in the spirit that somebody be waiting a long time and say, I wonder if I'll get married the marriage is going to happen in the name of Jesus. If I were you, I'd say amen. If I were you, I would say amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Also, there are some people. There will be some things delayed in your life. I you say, it looks like it may never happen. But I'm here to tell you, he's the God of the impossible. He said, what is impossible in man is possible with God. I'm here to tell you today. As you step out by faith, that would look impossible. God will make it possible in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 The monies be released from the north, from the north, into my hands. 
I call for it. an abundance, an abundance. Now, now, in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, give Jesus a hand. I ain't done yet. 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 Say with me, say every strong man that lock off my wealth and riches. Said today your time is up. Release now the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to vomit out, to release, to give me now, now, what is mine. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give Jesus a hand. I ain't done yet, I ain't done yet, I ain't done yet, I ain't done yet. Say with me, say, Father. Continue to shake the heavens. Shake it. Shake it good. And everything in the second heaven that be held up for me I said come now. Be released now. In the name of Jesus. I said be released now. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost fire. Burn them out. Burn them out. Burn them out. All who hold him back, my blessing. Burn them out. Hot coals of fire. Burn them out. And release now. Now, now, now. All of my financial other blessings into my hands. Into my hands. Somebody shout overflow. The overflow. overflow. Some of you come with a small bag like me. Here. Can you get your overflow? overflow. So the purse too small. The bag too small. The container too small. I call it for overflow. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now this is what they always got your thing locked off. Hallelujah, praise God, but they're going to lose today in the name of Jesus. So every fiery dart sent my way, I send it back to the shard man. One thousand times the strength it came with in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Say, Marie Kingdom. Marie kingdom, Marie kingdom in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus release release what belongs to me in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit I command you I command you to lose to let go Right now, I said, right, right now, my wealth, my riches, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, said, no more delay. I said, no more delay. All who lock me off, got to lose me now. I said, got to lose me, in the name of Jesus. I said, got to lose me. In the name of Jesus, I must fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus, said time is running out. So I got fulfilled destiny. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, give Jesus a big hand. Big, big hand, big, big hand, big, 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 big. big. The, the power is in the name of Jesus. The power is in the name of Jesus. The power is in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for overflow. 
the name of Jesus. I want us to give God thanks. I believe something good has happened. I want to ask this honor to help me thanks. Just give God thanks. A song of thanksgiving. Any thanksgiving song, you just tell him thanks. Tell him thanks. He's worthy of our thanks. He's worthy. I want you to stand and lift your hands and tell him thanks. You see, Jesus, all he had was five loaves and two fishes. But he dared to raise it before God and give God thanks. That same thing that you were holding, you lift it up before the Lord and give God thanks. Come, Sister Angela, come. Give God thanks. Give him thanks for what he has done in Jesus' name. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. Our souls have found rest. Oh, Lord, we give you thanks. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, our souls have found rest. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Remember I said, God wants to make you his signet ring. That signet ring identifies you as part of his family. That you are son 
Whether you're female or male, you're part of the family. That signet ring tells us that you belong to not any family. You belong to a powerful family. An influential and wealthy family. That signet ring establishes that you are God's legal representative here on earth. And when you decree a thing, it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Give Jesus a big hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So do not be worried. Do not be afraid. There will be tremors. There will be all manner of shakings. Keep your eyes on Jesus. The, the shaking is for your blessing. You know what I'm saying? The shaking is for your blessing. And by the way, there's somebody in here, you got a neck pain. The pain comes from your neck to your shoulder. Who is it? You? How the, the, say with me, say, devil, you're a liar. You're the father of lies. There is no truth in you. I am God's signet ring. I have the legal authority to drive you off. And I do so now in the powerful name of Jesus. See if it's not gone. Gone? Yeah. Give Jesus a big hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You are God's signet ring. Hallelujah. Praise God. I can feel his presence. I can feel his power in this place right now. God's signet ring. Say with me, I am God's signet ring. So I'm God's signet ring. I belong to a wealthy and influential family. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen! And amen! Praise God. You're going to have communion? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anybody here with a testimony? God did something for you. I said, well, something happened. I want to share it. I had a powerful dream. It's so powerful. I must share it in the name of Jesus. Anybody quickly? Say, I had a dream. I had a vision. Something that I need to share because it so touched me. You see, one of the things I said earlier, I know when people got money blessings, they don't like to jump up and share. Just wait till afterwards and say, Pastor, so, 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 so. Or as hear about it. Amen. But it's good to share your testimonies. Because the Bible says we overcome the adversary by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So your testimony is important. Amen. So don't, don't always lock down your testimony. Share it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, church. This morning, I stand to give the Lord a note of praise and thanks. It's not a, actually a testimony, but I want to say this morning while we were worshiping, uh, I shut myself in and I could see the Lord was saying that he's not pleased on how we actually worship in him. He said he want more. He said he want us to just shut ourselves in and give him more. He said this morning he want church to be different. He don't want it to be like the normal service. He want like to we to worship him, worship him, worship him. And you know, I just shut myself in and I didn't approach anyone because Sister Angela, she was still worshiping. So I said to myself, I said, Lord, it's not my will, but let your will be done. And Late, a little after Pastor um, came on the stage and he came with the same thing and I was saying, Lord, thank you for your confirmation. And then he led it on to just bring a short word and then he go back into the worship. I want to stand here to say, Lord, um, church, trust in the Lord because he is the same God today, tomorrow and forevermore and he stand upon his word. So I want to give him the idle note of praise and thanks. And when we were inside there worshiping and raising up our purse i want to tell you that the lord has already poured into your purse because i could have seen that he's pouring into your purse it's all you have to do is just believe thank you hallelujah 
Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know that God wants us to go deeper because you want to bless us. And you know what? I was wondering, so years ago, let, I want to share these things with you. Years ago, I had a dream. In that dream, I, I saw a fish, a big fish, biggest size fish, a big, big one, biggest size fish. And the fish jumping in the yard. I said, what kind of words is this? But God was amazing that that same day, there was a young man who had gotten a, a, I think a Guyana scholarship. And that same day, he came to me to seek some advice. And I said, what God you show me, this big fish. I, I never heard about him. I gave him what advice I could give him. Never heard about him again. But I'm sharing with you because of, of something I saw just now. There was another time I went to see a certain well-known person. Person is still alive. A certain well-known person in our society. And the morning when I was going to go, early in the morning, I had another dream. And in this case, I saw a fish, but it was in a drain, a big fish. And I saw myself trying to hold this fish, but the fish slippery. Can't hold the fish. Every time you try to hold the fish, you always see the fish wriggling out. And that told me a lot about the person's character. That the person I was going to see was a big fish. And he was operating just like that. Very slippery. I can't hold him down at all. Just now, while we were praying, say, God, fill our person, fill our stuff. In the realm of the spirit, I saw a fish. I saw a fish coming to my container. The thing I was holding. I said, I wonder who is this fish? I don't know who is this fish. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But normally, the fish relate to a male. No disrespect to any female. And maybe some male person will come and bless us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody else quickly? Say, I heard or I sensed something you were praising and worshiping. Come, Sister Michelle, come quickly. morning everyone um this is not why we were praising and worshiping i just had an experience it was sometime last year i think it was um i had this to me it was real but i guess it was like a dream i can't explain that but um it's like the door was open it's an upstairs where i'm living and something actually fly through the door and this person was actually looking for me, or this being, whatever it was. And it stopped at one room. This is me hearing everything. No, she's not in there. Then it went to the kids' room, and it's like, no, she's not in there. And then they came to my room. And as soon as I, like, I was now walking through the door, the bedroom door, and this thing just came straight into my tummy. And, well, I told Pastor about it, and we prayed and all these things, but you ever feel like if, um, uh, even though you pray, like this thing was still there. So, the other night we were actually praying, me and the children were praying, and I would normally follow what Pastor would say. You normally praise, you do all what you have to do, but then you have to, when you talk to God, you got to listen for God to talk to you, you uh, minister back to you. So I told everyone, you know, let us give, let, let us take five minutes and just be silent and hear what God is saying. And while we were silent, I don't know what it is, but it's like if God said, put your hand on your tummy. So I put my hand on my tummy and I was just listening. Next thing you know, I feel like if, you know when you vomit, it's like if I vomit right on the floor there and this black thing came out and this is me walking around it asking, is what is that? Is that a crop? Oh, is what it was. 
but this I don't know what this thing was but right away it's like I knew that whatever was there finally came out and I felt such a relief I felt I felt different so I just want to give God praise and thanks yeah, don't, don't go yet. We're going to pray for you still. Praise God. I tell you what. One thing I find about the enemy, a lot of people don't know. He leaves a mark on you. Why? Because he seeks to monitor you. To know all your whereabouts, all your likes, all your dislikes. He seeks to have a hold on you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we got to remove all their marks and all them holes that the enemy has on your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just follow me. What I do, you do. So in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, I break the power of every curse, of every evil spirit over my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just come forward a little bit. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. His name is Jesus. He's the light of the world. In him, there is no darkness. And Father God, right now, we pray that every evil mark, every evil mark on our body, Lord, release, remove it now. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. I say every evil mark, get out. In the name of Jesus. Every evil mark that the enemy has left on you. I say erase it now Lord. Erase it now Lord. And let our light shine. Let our light shine. I pray this in the name of Jesus. For this very purpose Jesus came. To set the captive free. To set the captive free. Set her free Lord. I pray in Jesus name. And I thank the living God. For great is his faithfulness. Amen and amen. Are you feeling any lightness in your feet or your stomach or your head? Where? Huh? Ah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You'll notice today we try to anoint you in a different way. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because we recognize that the enemy be getting away. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. For anointing me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. To set the captive free. Set the captive free, Lord. Set the captive free, Lord. Set them completely free. I pray in the name of the Father. I pray in the name of the Son. And I pray in the name of the Holy Spirit. Set them free, Lord. Devil, every mark got to go. See, the devil seek to put a mark on you. God seek to put a signet ring on you. He seek to put his mark. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every work, every plan, every scheme, every plot of the enemy, I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I remove it right now in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Go! In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Praise God. You may go back and worship God in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes we know that everything is not gone. And I remember I did pray for you. I remember the, the prophet came here. He already also pinpointed something was wrong. And he prayed for you. And still... But sometimes you got to really push. You got to persevere. Amen. Because the enemy, especially if you have an opening in any part of your life, he capitalizes on that opening. And he gives you a hard time to come out in the name of Jesus. And even when he comes out, he seeks to leave a mark. So you know, I must always get access. It does not happen in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Give Jesus another hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You want late, man? Communion. You have to have communion. We never leave here without holy communion. And um, 
This is what you need to know. It's Holy Communion. And because Holy Communion, uh, it's not for everybody. It's, it first and foremost, it's only for those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Communion is not for everybody. If you know you're living, the Bible says, for this purpose, some people get weak and some people get sick and some people fall asleep or die because they eat or drink in an unworthy manner. I don't want anybody here to eat and drink in an unworthy manner. If you know you are not living a life pleasing to God, then don't have communion. But we try to rectify that by making you say a sinner's prayer. If you know you're going to say the sinner's prayer and although you're saying it, you're going back to your whole ways by the time you leave here, don't have communion. Because it's a serious thing. Let us say the sinner's prayer together. Say, Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you. In the precious name of Jesus, I repent of all sins. Sins I'm aware of and sins that I'm unaware of. I also repent of trespasses, transgressions, iniquities, what I've thought, word or deed. If I've hurt or wronged anyone, I also repent and ask forgiveness. All those who have hurt me or wronged me, I forgive them. And I'm asking you, Father, to forgive me also. Now, Lord Jesus, I plead with you for mercy. Wash me. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness but your blood. And I thank you for exchanging your righteousness for my sins. Amen, amen. If you said that and you meant it from your heart, then you can have holy communion with us. Praise God. I'm going to ask the Elder Jacqueline and Sister Pauli to help me with the communion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rabba Shebo Yaba Yebo Yaba Yebo Shaba Yebo Yaba Yebo Yebo Shaba Yebo Yebo Hallelujah Hallelujah Yebo Shebo Yaba Father I thank you for the body of the Lamb of God for the blood that was poured out from that land. I pray, God, as we partake, that the blessing of God will make us rich and will add no sorrow. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 go. Hallelujah. 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 Robo shebo yaba yebo yaba yebo yebo. Robo shebo yebo, Rabba yobo yebo, Shaba yebo yebo, Shaka taka tokoti, Rabba yaka tebo yaba yebo yaba ye, Robo shaba yebo, Shaka taka tokoti, Rabba yaka tebo yaba yebo yaba ye. Robo shaba yebo, Rabba yobo yebo, Shaba yebo yebo, Shaka taka tekati, Rabba yaka tebo yaba yebo yaba ye, Robo shaba yebo, Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Rabba shebo yaba yebo yaba Robo shebo yebo Rabba yebo yebo Shaba yebo yebo Shakataba yaba Rabba yaka tebo yaba yebo yaba Robo shebo yebo Hallelujah
Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to use Exodus chapter 12. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Exodus chapter 12. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Exodus chapter 12, God told the Hebrew children, he told them that they must get a lamb. A lamb without blemish. Today, we have in our hands, hallelujah, praise God, the lamb of God. You know what I'm saying? You have in our hands the Lamb of God. And this Lamb has no blemish. And God told the children of Israel to eat the whole Lamb. He the head. The heart, the kidneys, the liver. Eat the whole lamb, the high quarters, the, the whole lamb. And today, as we are having Holy Communion, we're going to eat the whole lamb. And we're going to believe God as we eat this lamb without blemish. Every area in our bodies that has blemish will be healed. In the name of Jesus. Let us eat together. The whole lamb. The whole lamb. Every area in your life where there's a blemish, you can touch that area right now. Believe in God. Wherever you feel like a blemish, believe in God for his healing power the name of Jesus. That by eating the lamb with all blemish, God will bring healing in your body in Jesus mighty and powerful name. Touch my body, Lord. My whole body as I eat the lamb in the name of Jesus. Then the blood. The blood of the lamb. The blood was used to prevent death. D-A-T-H. Lord, we pray that not only does this blood prevent D-A-T-H, but we pray, God, that this blood will speak over our lives, will speak blessing, blessing over each one of us right now in Jesus' name. Let us drink together. We're going to sing that song about the blood of Jesus. Come quickly, Sister Angela. Help me that song about the blood and the power of the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. It washes. There is victory in the blood. There is victory in the blood. 
Thank you, Lord. I, I want to make note of, see what sit, sit, sit. We're going to go in a couple of minutes. Of one Sister Michelle's testimony. Watch this. She says she was in her bed. This is what she said. And though she was in one room, she could see what was happening in another room. How is that possible? That is possible because we need to understand and recognize that the Holy Spirit is one of our key means of defense. The Holy Spirit. So it was not you seeing. It was the Holy Spirit showing you what was coming. The Holy Spirit was actually preparing you for what was coming. So we need to understand that we need to have the Holy Spirit in our lives. Because you're going to be lying down in your bed. I you seeing we're going out in somebody else's house. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you got to hook up, have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. He's one of your first line of defense. And his best way of defending for us, as I understand it, is by revealing to us what is happening around us. He tells you, look, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. This is what is coming to you. But you got to do something about it. Anyway, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to go shortly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Great is your faithfulness. He's a faithful God, and there is no God like him. I want to encourage you to give. Giving is another form of worship, and it's a very powerful form of worship. Amen. As I keep saying, if you want a partner in life, know that like some people say partnership is a sinking ship. But when you partner with God, there's not a sinking ship. He's the best partner you can have. Amen? Partner with God. Let me tell you something about this church. In this church, we don't force people and tell them, if you don't give tithes and offering. You can't function in here or there in the church. We give everyone the right to choose. Amen? We give you the right to choose. To choose whether you want to give or you don't want to give. At the end of the day, who gets blessed? You get him blessed, whether you like it or not. Amen? So we give you the right to choose. And I want to encourage people to partner Especially in this season. This time that we are going through. Amen. I want you to partner with God. Learn to have God as your partner. Talk to your God. Tell your God. Say God. You know I, I, I gave everything I could have given. And I am believing you God. You will come true for me. The name of you. Partner with God. You can't go wrong in Jesus name. So I encourage you to give. I will ask Minister Alva help me this. Thank you, Lord. You have provided. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You've already provided. I'm not persuaded by the tricks the devil plays. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've already provided. Thank you, Lord. You've already provided. I'm not persuaded by the tricks the devil plays. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. You have already provided. You got to get the confidence in God. I tell you, a lot of people are coming to plenty blessing in this season. I tell you, some people cry. They say, oh, price, price is skyrocketing. But you know what? This is a season God can bless his people. If you believe that, you will receive the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you for all who have given today. I pray, Father God, for your blessing on the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. Now, while I'm praying for this offering and tithes and so on, there's somebody in here. The person feel cold, 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 cold. It's to be good. You're describing. It's got something like it. The place is hot, but so you feel it cold, 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 cold. You got somebody like that in here? If you got you, 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 you got a problem like that, give me a wave. So I, I'm feeling cold, cold. Even when the place hot, sometimes I'm just feeling cold. Is there somebody in here like that? I see nobody waving their hand. I look at somebody waving their hand. Wait. Oh, you're the person. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. See, I was praying over you. I this why I saw in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. But, you know, I often pray for you at the end of the service. I promise you I'm going to pray for you at the end of the service. Don't run away. Tell the taxi to wait. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. And Father God, I pray that you that this, these tithes and offering and seed and stuff that people give, Lord, I pray, God, you will give back to your people. And you will give them back, Lord, not with the same measure, but 1,000 times increase in the name of Jesus. I've been crying out for the 1,000 times increase a long time, Father. And I pray that you will come true for your people, especially this season. The people need it, Lord. In Jesus' name, I keep out every devouring spirit. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Go stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, announcements, announcements. Now, I could ask two people. I come. I know I work in the Jacqueline Hall. Come, Lashando. You come and uh, make the announcements. And um, remember, first timers. I'm not sure if there's anybody who is here for the first time. In church once more. So, is there um, any first timers today? Please stand. And then we ask Sister Angela, please sing. Greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together. In Jesus' name, everybody smile. Jesus loves you, everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them. In Jesus' name, tell them we can work together. In Jesus' name, everybody smile. Jesus loves you, everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Everybody smile. Jesus loves Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Would you mind letting us know your names and who we'll invite you? Good morning, everyone. My name is Fiona Archer and my daughter, Jalisa Gardner. I would tell them do their deliverance on a Wednesday. Thank you. My name is Malaika, and I was invited by a 
Mr. Sinclair. Thank you. So is there any birthdays for this week? All right, so we have someone, Sister Christine. Sister Angela, please. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you every day of the year. May you see Jesus clear. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you, the best that you ever had. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you every day of the year. May you see Jesus clear. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday. The best that you ever had The best that you ever had Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday, happy birthday Happy birthday to you Thank you. Is there any wedding anniversary for this week? All right. So our announcement is as follow. We have the, our prayer meeting Tuesday, and that is from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Sorry, <laughs> to 6:30, and then Bible study. Sorry, 5:30 to 6:30. And then we have the prayer meeting on Wednesday. That is from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So that's 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And then on Thursday, we have deliverance service where you can reach pastor right here. That's from 10, 10 a.m. And yes, and then we come back here on Sunday. We go live at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Quickly, um, I want to pray for those people after the service. If you want me to, those who came first timers, I will pray for you. Also, um, Bardi, I'll pray for you after the service. Is the end of the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, we're going to stand now. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I know I, I keep you long, but what I'm finding, sometimes the Holy Spirit takes some time before he moves in the place in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to know there's a mighty move of God that's about to take place in the name of Jesus. And there's going to be a mighty move right in the same church in the name of Jesus. There'll be an escalation of miracles the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The prophetic word will go forth with power and accuracy and unction. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise his holy name. I want to pray for us and then minister, we're going to give you a benediction. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your right hand. He's a faithful God. And Father, we are thankful that we could have come in your house and spend such a long time. We pray, Father God, for your blessing on all of your people. That none of your people, oh God, will walk in distress, in want. For you, oh God, are our good shepherd. And because you are our shepherd, we shall not want. Father, cover each one of us with the blood of Jesus. Put a wall of fire on us. Let the Holy Spirit be there to help us, defend us. And I pray, Father God, for the angel of God. Warrior angels, the war on our behalf. 
Lord, I pray favor. Favor over your people. That each person here will be able to come back and say, you know what? I had a week of favor. I decree it. I declare it. Somebody say favor. favor. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me just have a give the benediction. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you all and give you all his peace. Amen. God bless you. Remember, I love you. But the Lord loves you so much more. God bless you. It's going to be a very interesting week. Keep trusting in God. He's going to see you through in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Invite your power to this place. And we thank the living God for what he's going to do in the name of Jesus. Blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dumb will speak. The lame will walk, those with skin condition will be healed, the dead will be raised in the name of Jesus.